Hi everybody, this is Maltanan and welcome to Motionworks series on After Effects Effects A to Z, where After Effects experts from all over the world show you what effects are bundled with After Effects, what they do and what they're actually good for. Today I'm going to show you a very, very exciting effect, which is angle control. I fought really hard to actually be able to do this particular effect because it's really, really awesome. Oh, actually, that's not true. I just, you know, picked the shortest straw, but who cares? Um, so let's just start off by creating a new comp and adding a few solids. Uh, I'm going to create a 100 by 100 pixel solid and I'm going to duplicate it three times. And let's just place them in our comp more or less like that just to make sure they're equally spaced. We're just going to align them like that. Okay, that's nice. Uh, and let's start off by adding the angle control. Angle control can be found in expression controls angle control. You've probably heard the expressions term before and what expressions are are basically short instructions for After Effects that you use instead or along with keyframes. Basically they allow you to do more complex animations easier. So uh, a good habit with using expression controllers is to have them on a null layer. So I'm just gonna create a null layer right now new null object and I'm going to call it angle control and I'm going to drag a new instance of angle control to the layer and as you can see this effect doesn't render anything out and okay a null layer is basically invisible so just to prove uh, that it's actually not doing anything I'm just going to grab it on this solid and as you can see it does nothing how exciting is that? Um, but it doesn't mean it's useless. It's actually the exact opposite. It's very useful. So I'm gonna uh, go back to my null object and let's say that you want to rotate all of these solids at the same time. Uh, your first instinct might be to uh, link them together, like parent them uh, and then try to rotate them. But you see, this is what happens and this is not what we want. What we actually want is to be able to grab the rotation of all of these and do something like that. And normally we would have to keyframe that, correct? Go here, keyframe, go here, keyframe, and go here, keyframe. And we have an animation that looks like that. But in case you want to retime it, you have to do all the keyframes for all the layers. Well, not anymore if you're using the angle control. So I'm just going to twirl that up and delete the keyframes and we're going to use our angle controller. I'm going to twirl it up in here because we're going to need it and make some room and open up rotation and just reset it in all the layers. So the way to use expression controls is to tell this rotation parameter to take its value from this angle control. So the simplest way to do this is to use a pick whip. So to do that you alt click on the stopwatch to add an expression to this parameter and instead of typing the code in we can just use this lasso tool or pick whip tool and basically point to the parameter we're interested in. So I'm gonna point to this angle and hit enter on the numeric keyboard to confirm the expression. Now I'm just going to do the same thing here and the same thing here and that's pretty much it. Take a look at this. Really simple and right now we only need one set of keyframes instead of three. But that's not all. You can do all sorts of stuff. You can for example link the rotation of this solid to this parameter and then tell this rotation to take its value from this and then add the rotation of the angle controller. And the same here. Let's just see how that looks. So let's grab 
this rotation and add our angle controller rotation to it. And let's see how that looks. Ha! <laughs> really nice. Okay, another example. Really quickly, uh, let's get rid of all those uh, expressions in here. And let's try something different. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, this is the last solid. I'm just going to organize it a little bit better. First one, second one, and third one. Okay, so I'm just going to move the solids closer together. Like that. And parent each one to another. So this one will be parented to this, the one before it. And the same thing here. So right now when we're rotating, we get this. But what I want to do is I want to add the rotation of this value to all those rotations. So I'm basically going to zero this one out and say this rotation equals angle and this one equals angle and this one equals angle. And basically the only thing we did is we parented the solids together and now we can have an animation that looks like this. Also, a very nice uh, tip for using expression controllers is using the value that you're modifying plus the value of the expression controller. So to do that, we just simply use the value keyword here and just do a simple mathematical addition and say value, in this case zero, plus whatever this value is. And we're going to do the same thing for all of these. Value plus and value plus. And what this allows us to do is to use both this angle controller plus the rotation values of the solids, the, their initial value. So let's just try rotating this one 90 degrees. See, and now we can offset the rotation of each solid and then offset all the global rotation using our angle controller. So, okay, I guess that's it for this tutorial. I could talk forever and ever about expressions because I just love the way they simplify the way you animate. If you liked this tutorial and you think that expressions are your thing and that they can help you out, make sure to check out my website at www.maltanon.com where you can find my After Effects tutorials focusing mostly on expressions, workflows and basically doing things in a way you never thought possible. Next plugin on the list is the Mysterious Arithmetics. Thanks for watching, until next time, happy after effecting.